Hello there, welcome back to the Yoga, the old Git Reacts Reviews and Off Times Reminisces. Um, I don't get many uh, requests to uh, review or react to music, uh, so when I do, I ought to be um, quicker in um, responding. Uh, and some time ago, um, Funeral Mist, I think it was, requested I do something by Thy Light. Now, it was a long time ago. Oh, quite a long time ago that they asked this, uh, so I haven't really got much of an excuse as to why I haven't done it yet. Uh, but it's time to make amends. Um, I have a feeling that they actually wanted something from uh, earlier on in, in the uh, discography of, of this band, uh, but don't quote me on that. However, I thought, seeing as I'd been so tardy in, in, in my response, um, this is quite a long song, nearly 20 minutes. So by way of apology to Funeral Mist for uh, taking so long to do it, I thought I'll give you a bloody 20 minutes of the of the guy, of, of the artiste, um, and hopefully that'll make amends. So, infinite stars thereof, here we go. With intro like this, I'm expecting great things. Almost film scoreish at the moment.
Feel a change coming on. Not me, the music. Okay, so um, in deciding which song to play um, or to react review, um, I did have a flick through. Um, I wasn't going to do a, a pure reaction because for, with me it makes no odds. Um, as I said before, you won't see my jaw dropping and hitting the floor or any gurning in a, in a, in sort of a surprise, even if I am surprised. Um, but. Um, <coughs> I picked this song over the other one on the CP purely because of this more rapid section. I don't think uh, I've not listened to these songs in their entirety. I flick through to get a flavour. So an odd five seconds here, five seconds there. So for the, the, the entirety of this twenty or nineteen minute song, I've heard probably about thirty seconds of it altogether. Uh, enough to form a judgment, uh, which might be wrong, but enough to give me a flavour. Uh, which is why I picked this one. And of course, um, those of you that know me by now will know I'll always pick the one with the more, the more rapid uh, parts to it, um, which is certainly the case here. Uh, and I am sort of somewhat delighted to say that I'm, I'm getting a uh, dark space paysage diva vibe in this particular part, um, which um, is always welcome uh, and enough to make my day, really. Um, Let's go.
at the moment i couldn't be happier this sort of black metal is right at my street um i do love layered dirge so you've got you know dirgy guitar with a, a, a dirgy sort of keyboard over the top um and the dark atmosphere it creates is it, is something that um will always be appreciated by me um of course the sad thing for me is i know it's not going to continue to the very end but but that doesn't mean to say i won't enjoy it to the very end um what else was i going to say i was going to say something yeah oh yeah um this is uh, black metal, metal and other genre, genres as well are splintered into various different aspects uh and i, and I notice that this gets sort of lumped in, in in a depressive black metal um camp which i think probably was more appropriate for the earlier stuff um but introspective black metal is what the uh, the artist calls it and you can you can't argue with that uh and it's certainly atmospheric um and again when you talk about atmosphere um it depends on a listener whether you find it depressive or uh, uplifting uh, and because I'm a happy sort of chappy, for me this is uplifting. It doesn't conjure any sort of woe whatsoever. So um, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> So, so far, um, obviously, delighting in the, the more rapid sections there. Um, but regardless, the um, there's a thickness to this composition so far um, and a richness to it. Um, we're not talking sort of um, poor, house, poor house gruel here. This is a nice, thick, meaty stew. Um, and um, as such, when, when, when music is rich in tone like it is here, um, I don't, I'm trying to struggle for the point I'm trying to make now, is, <laughs> is what do I say? What am I trying to say? Yeah, it just enhance, enhances the atmosphere. Um, Yes, at times a sort of trebly weak sort of uh, music may well suit the atmosphere the artist intends. But um, for me, if if there is some chunk in there, you know, some some richness, that, you know, a proper thick broth of a sound, then uh, for me the atmosphere is always enhanced. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But who knows? I probably meant something totally different when I first started speaking, but hey-ho.
So even there, normally those sort of spoken word passages turn me off a fair bit, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That was appropriate with the, the song, and um, again, sometimes they get cheesy, but not not there. So here we've, we've gone a bit funereal and um, but still rich. Quite like the fact here that um, even though there's a mellifluous, is that the word? Um, the music is mellifluous, mellifluous, mellifluous. I think it's mellifluous uh, and and a quite sweet sounding sound. I suppose uh, there's a flat bass underneath it, giving that contrast so it doesn't get too sickly. Um, uh, and in fact, this this so this little section so far wouldn't go out of you know, look out of place or sound out of place on a on an esoteric album, so uh, you can't get much finer compliment than that either. Excuse me. So drenching atmosphere at the moment, um, and uh, again, as I've said many, many times, uh, atmospheric music um, paints pictures for you very often. Uh, and the picture that's painted for me so far by this this song is the the calm before the storm at the beginning, and then sort of into battle um, after a while, and uh, 
broken and bruised and blooded um and then taken from the battlefield uh, and this bit sounds to me as if you're being nursed back to health um or if you're of a, a more dour disposition you might say uh, receiving respite before he slip this mortal coil um but i'm going with uh, nurse back to health Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, um, that ball balladic uh, solo that uh, just passed. Um, normally those things would give me the shudders and the shivers and the shakes and uh, uh, but it's all about context and and in it, on this song, let's just say I didn't mind it. <laughs> I wasn't exultant, but I didn't mind it at all. Uh, I'm pushing the uh, analogies further. For me, this now sounds like a um, the, the first faltering steps to recovery. <laughs> um, and again, if you're of a, a, of a more somber disposition, you might uh, more likely acquaint it to a, a funeral march, carrying a coffin to the grave, but uh, not me. <laughs>
So there you go. <laughs> if you like um, sound samples and the sounds of nature, then you get your money's worth out of this this track. That's for sure. Um, if I'm totally honest, much as I like this song it's in, in its entirety, um, I'm too impatient to um, to like those sort of long drawn out endings. Um, and that, it's not just this artist; any artist that does that. That said, if I was more um, listening to this in the dark with headphones on, um, then I'd probably think of it a little bit differently. But um, apart from that little complaint, and it is it's an observation more than the complaint, um, I quite enjoyed that, and it's something that um, I'll probably consider buying uh, because there are occasions when that will suit my mood uh, or what I, the mood I wish to have whilst listening to something. And then again, um, that sort of music, and I've had this every time I listen to sort of black metal, it's described as introspective or depressive. Um, it doesn't work that way for me. I've, if I like it, then it's, um, it's uplifting for me. Um, and that's the case here. Um, the bits that probably should have uh, be um, translated as, as somber for me aren't they? They're not. They, they are chinks of light uh, and, and hope. But um, that's that's what music's about. It's it's subjective, and um, you know, even when a song is blatant in its expression, it doesn't mean to say you have to accept it as such. Um, anyway, so uh, thanks to Funeral Mist for the suggestion. Um, if that wasn't one of the songs you wanted me to do apologies but i thought i'd treat you to a to an epic rather than um some of the the shorter songs um well, there you go uh, if you've got anything you want me to listen to tell me uh, i will eventually get around to doing it uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah anyway clicky bollocks catch you all next time cheerio